G'day gamers, welcome to New by Design. Going to be doing a video here on Assassin's Creed Origins and we are going to be picking up the ancient tablet piece as well as every other loot piece from the Tomb of Sneferu or probably Neferu. I'm guessing the S is silent, but either way, Sneferu or Neferu, however you guys want to say it. So you can see we are going to be approaching from the north side and we're just going to go into this little hole right here. Once we get inside, as always, we're going to go ahead and light our torch. Otherwise, you really can't see anything. As my other videos, guys, we're going to go ahead and get all the treasures and everything from this in one go because it doesn't make sense to do it in two separate pieces. So you guys will see where all the hidden stuff is in this as well, including all the silica and the loot treasure type items. So as we get inside here, you're going to see that I've actually already opened this hatch. That hatch is going to be closed and all you have to do really is open it up. Then you can go through. But before we do that, we're going to go in here and get our piece of silica just because you definitely want to grab all those because they are a very rare item and we will probably need those later on to upgrade the various pieces of armor that we have so if you guys don't want to get it go ahead and go in here first but i definitely recommend that you guys do that anyhow we're going to keep on going on here guys and we will go to the next piece of silica i think is the next thing that we come upon uh there's nothing down in this water hidden at least nothing that i found maybe if there is something that you guys found then go ahead and let me know in the comments below but i'm pretty sure i look pretty hard down there and you'll see that you'll notice that through this um guide here part itself it wouldn't reset for me so some of the stuff is going to look a little bit different than when you guys see it but i'll explain how it looks when you guys are going to come upon it here so this is the first little trick here and this is one of the ones that looks differently so you'll see that there'll be like a wire kind of holder like a wire spooler whatever you want to call it one of these will be up on the top what you're going to do is you're going to pick it up and put it on this counterweight balance i'm, I'm going to call it a counterweight balance i couldn't reset this one because basically the bookshelf or whatever this statue box was stuck on it but it's going to be down the track where i'm trying to pull it here right now it's going to be down that track a little bit and obviously until you get a weight on that counterbalance that counterbalance is going to be up to about the level of the top of that statue there so basically i'll show you exactly kind of how it's going to look right over here there's going to be that wire spool looking thing you're going to go here jump on top of the counterbalance which is going to be a little bit in the air you're going to drop the spool then you're going to go ahead and slide that down the track Come over here, jump on this, and then this will be able to hold your weight because the statue is pretty heavy. But before we do that, let's go ahead and pick up the silica piece that we forgot to pick up here, which is right over to the side here. So let's go ahead and grab that, and then we will just jump right on up here. And again, like I said, the statue, once you get it on the other counterbalance, it'll hold your weight. You can jump right up here and keep on going. So once you get in this room, there's going to be a whole bunch of pots. You can just go ahead and smash them. And then it's just a little bit easier to get right through there. And then you can go to the next stage here. Again, this one looks a little bit different, but I believe I reset it to be pretty much exactly how it's going to be. There was only one counterweight on this one here, so we'll go ahead and we'll have to get more. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to jump up here. When you get up here, you're going to jump on this counterweight here, but it's not going to hold your weight because there's not enough weight on the other side. So what we'll do is we will go pick back up those counterweight pieces which are in the other room and this is the next stage if you don't want to pick up the piece of silica or the loot treasure that we're about to get right now you guys can just throw four spools on here and then you can proceed right up to the um uh tablet piece there but we want to get it or at least i want to get it so i'm going to go ahead and move three spools onto it because for that section, for whatever reason, you only need three spools. For this section, you need four. So we're going to do the minimum just because we want it to be as fast as we possibly can. Go ahead and throw the third counterbalance or wire. I don't even know what it is. It's probably wire or wire spooling or something like that. We're going to go over here, jump onto it, and pick up our piece of silica and our loot treasure. So let's go ahead and do that. going to light the torch again here just because it's hard to see stuff without it. And we'll go ahead and grab our loot treasure first. Nothing too exciting in this item here, but you know what? Good to pick it up anyway because you can disassemble stuff and get materials, which are really helpful as well. So let's go ahead, pick up our piece of silica, and then we will go proceed as we talked about before. We're going to have to load up four spools um, onto this uh, counterweight in the other room. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I think before we do that, I actually try with three. But like I said, for whatever reason, uh, you need three in the other room and, and four in this one. So we'll go ahead and try it anyway, just to show you guys that it does not work with three. You can see that we are now down too far and the jump doesn't work and you can't get high enough on it. So let's go ahead, grab that fourth spool or fourth counterweight, I guess is the best way to call it, and then move it on over into the other room there. 
All right, now, once we get this up here, you're gonna see that the Tombstone tablet is right in this other room, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of loot treasures and all that kind of stuff, and one more piece of silica as well. Although you can see that I almost missed a piece of silica here, guys. When I was going back through it, I kind of forgot about this one. But either way, we got it now, so we're all good. And I think, I think this one here has five pieces of silica in it, which is pretty good. Um, now we're gonna keep on going up, and we are going to go to the Tombstone tablet, and let's, you know what, let's check this interact. Uh, thing here first before we do that just I like to collect them all because I, I feel like you know sometimes that they're a little hidden stuff and that they might unlock a um, uh, what do you call it a uh, trophy or something later on anyway guys when you turn around you can see the movie at the top uh, or the screen at the top right there where I'm lo opening up the loot treasure boxes and those are just behind where the tablet is here that I'm opening it up right now Anyhow, guys, that is all there is to this video. That is everything that is hidden in this entire pyramid. Um, hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if it was, I sure would appreciate it if you guys had hit that like button. Also, you can check out any of these videos here as well. And hopefully they'll help you guys out as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching.